campaign that the loan off of the Kirtland Temple was a note from Joseph Smith that's saying that we're going to repay you, right, for this for this thing. Well, before he goes on his mission, so he's leaving his wife again, right, and, and he's going to leave her pretty much destitute um, still because they, they had no money. and they'd, they'd, they'd given everything basically to the Lord and to the church. And uh, so he, he goes to Joseph Smith before he's leaving to go on this mission, and he pulls out the note and he shows it to Joseph Smith and said, and, and uh, he hands it to Joseph Smith. And Joseph Smith said, um, but he said, he always called him Father Tanner. <laughs> okay. He said, Father Tanner, what do you what do you want me to do with this note? We have no no way of repaying you for this. And uh, and John Tanner basically said, you know, the gospel of Jesus Christ has been has meant everything to me and my my wife and my family. He says, there is no debt owed. He took the note, just tore it up and threw it on the ground and walked away. So let me tell you just really quickly about the John Tanner story, because that's really phen phenomenal information there. And uh, John Tanner was a, a extremely wealthy guy. So uh, he had uh, several businesses he owned. How he found out about the church was actually he had um, some kind of a infection that got into his leg, and uh, and and his leg became so infected that it was to the point where it was turning black in certain areas. Um, he'd been going to the best doctors of the day at the time. They had tried everything they could to try to get the infection to to uh, to go away. Um, they had not been successful, and so what happened was is that they they basically said, John Tanner, you have got to have this leg, you know, amputated. Yeah, that, that, that's the only way you're going to save your life. And uh, and as the story goes, he said that you know, my, the, the leg and I came into this world together, and together we shall depart it. <laughs> so he said, I'm not having my leg taken off. So he actually, uh, after he talked to one of the final doctors, he basically. He went back home to, to get his affairs in order, and, and he was he was done, right? Um, about that time, so a couple of missionaries came through, and uh, and they 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 were coming through the area, and they and they, they let them the missionaries in, and they and they talked about the gospel and so forth. And he was very very impressed by this new uh, gospel and the the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. And they and they uh, they 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 challenged him to be baptized, and he said, "Well, I, I would, but I, I can't be baptized. I mean, I, I I can't walk on my leg. I mean, I've been for six months or more. I've been on crutches. You know, the doctors say I'm going to be departing this world in, in a matter of just weeks or months." And uh, he says, "I I I would, but I I can't." And, uh, and these two guys, I, I'm trying to remember who they were, these two missionaries that, uh, that baptized, uh, or that, um, that taught him, but they, uh, but they challenged him. They said, uh, John Tanner, do you believe that Jesus Christ healed the, uh, the blind man the, the, and the people that had leprosy and the people there at the pool of Bethsaida and so forth? Do you believe that, that, that the gospel, that Jesus Christ healed those people? And he said, "Well, yes, I do. With all my heart, I do." He says, "And then, if 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 that church has been restored today on this earth, do you believe that that church should have the same kind of power to be able to heal people?" And he basically said, "Well, I do." He says, "Well, then, John Tanner, do you have faith to be healed?" <laughs> He's kind of like looking at his wife and like, um, I guess his little son was there in the room. And uh, and he basically said, yes, I do. I do. He says, well, then, John Tanner, rise up and walk. And as the as the account goes, he literally stood up um, the, 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 the the infection essentially just almost instantaneously healed. He threw his crutch, crutches down, walked across the room a couple of times. And said, uh, and they said, then what have you against getting baptized tonight? And he walked like a mile and a half without his crutches to the, the closest river. And that night he was baptized. He and his wife were baptized. <laughs> it's, a, it's an amazing story.
Anyway, I love. I just. Lo- I. I can't get enough of these these yeah. stories of the the early part of the restoration. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. So John Tanner had he had sawmills. He owned an island. He had uh, businesses. Um, in, in 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 today's terms, he'd probably been a multimillionaire. Okay. Um. Then then he and his wife, after they were ba- after they were baptized, just fairly shortly thereafter, uh, he was praying. He and his wife were praying. And, uh, and they had the impression that they needed to go to Kirtland. And, uh, they, and, and uh, they said, he said uh, to the Lord, well, okay, when do you want me to go? And, the Lord, and basically the Lord said, now. So he and his wife literally packed up their stuff and left that night <laughs> okay, to make this, I, can't, I think, I can't remember, it was, it was, it was a, it, 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 at least a few days journey, okay, to well, get there's to Well, there's a movie called Treasure in Heaven. Yeah. Think. Yeah, Treasure in Heaven, the John Tanner story. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's just absolutely yeah, it, it's beautiful. If you get if you get that, grab a box of tea, of Kleenex and watch right. it because it's really fascinating. But anyway, so so it turns out that Joseph and the and the brethren had in, in Kirtland, they were just finishing up the Kirtland Temple and the and the the loan for the temple because they didn't have enough money to actually buy things as they went, so they had to had to get a loan. And the loan for the temple came due. And the brethren came to Joseph Smith and said, What are we gonna do? Yeah, you know, brother, brother Joseph, we don't. You know, there's no money. The, the loan, the loan is due, and uh, and Joseph basically said, "We we don't have we we have nothing. I mean, there's nothing we can do. The only thing we can do is we can pray." And so they all prayed basically that something would happen that would save the temple. And then uh, John Tanner shows up literally like the next day. And, uh, and and it comes and comes and finds the prophet Joseph Smith and said you know and and, uh, and said well what what can I what can I do what what the, the Lord got me up in the middle of the night and had me come here what is it that I need to do and the prophet Joseph Smith said um, we have like twenty four hours before they're going to foreclose on the temple he said okay so i think i think if i remember correctly i think that he first made a check out for $12,000 but i don't know if it's a check or how it it was a a note basically so he $12,000 and then another $20,000 almost immediately thereafter to to pay off the the loan of the of the of the temple then he placed a, a ton of money into the the, the Kirtland anti banking society <laughs> and then and they then they did the, the the notes and so forth that went along with that, um, and then he uh, he he funded a bunch of missionaries going out and so forth and, and help to help people who were coming into Kirtland to to pay for them to help and build in their homes and so forth. Um, he sold his farms, he sold his island, he sold his his sawmills, he sold his other businesses, and so forth, and basically was completely. Um, devoted to you know to the building up of the gospel, right? The building up the, of the church. Um, then he was he was he was called to uh, to um, go on a mission. <laughs> and so, well, like, even after the bank went even after that yeah. went uh, what was it belly up yeah. the Kirtland Bank? Up. It didn't yeah. phase him. He he stayed faithful. He went to missouri yeah he, he stayed he, he did all that stuff but what's interesting is that he um and he went fact, to utah he died in utah yeah right? he 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 on the way from when he left kirtland he was so poor he wrote in his journal he says i'm, I'm left with one broken down old wagon and an old horse and he gathered his family i think he had like eight or nine kids if i remember correctly and uh and he gathered them all up put them in the back of the wagon they headed off. They have, they were so poor. They had no food. They, there's, there's one point where they stopped along the way to beg food from people along the, along the, the, the trail there. And they stopped at this one particular cabin and he walks up to the cabin. This old guy opens the door. He had his little son that was standing right there next to him. And, and, and the old guy looked down at his son and, and, and he asked him, says, listen, can you, is there any way you could spare a little food for myself and my family? We, we, we are starving to death. And the old guy looks down at his little little boy and says, "So, what's your name, son?" And he says, "My name is is, is Joseph Joseph Smith Tanner." <laughs> <laughs> and the guy slams the door in his face and won't give him any food. 
And about two days later, his little daughter died of starvation on the on the way, and they buried her along the trail. And then, the, and then he was called to be, you know, to go on on this mission, and uh, and and and, the, what, and what he received in return for paying the debt and paying the, the loan off of the Kirtland Temple was a note from Joseph Smith that saying that we're going to repay you right for this for this thing. Well, before he goes on his mission, so he's leaving his wife again, right? And and he's going to leave her pretty much destitute um, still because they they had no money and they they. they given everything basically to the Lord and to the church. And uh, so he he goes to Joseph Smith before he's leaving to go on this mission. And he pulls out the note and he shows it to Joseph Smith and said, and, and uh, he hands it to Joseph Smith. And Joseph Smith said, um, but he said, he always called him Father Tanner. <laughs> okay. He said, Father Tanner, what do you, what do you want me to do with this note? We have no, no way of repaying you for this. And, uh, and John Tanner basically said, you know, the gospel of Jesus Christ has been has meant everything to me and my my wife and my family. He says there is no debt owed. He took the note, just tore it up, and threw it on the ground, and walked away. And as he was leaving, Joseph Smith called out to he said, "Father Tanner," he says, um, "You know, God bless you, Father Tanner." And he said, "I want to." He said, "I want you to know that your family will never want for bread again." And that became the Tanner family that a lot of people know with like O.C. Tanner. I, I know personally Trace Tanner, for example, he's a good friend of mine. And Eldon um, Tanner. Um, and Eldon Tanner was part of that group as well. Um, uh, and there's a there's a John Tanner, one of the descendants who was actually the president of BYU Hawaii. Um, one of his daughters actually is married to one of the probably one of the wealthiest individuals in the church as well. They have done very, very well financially, and a lot of that, I think, has to do with this blessing that that the Prophet Joseph Smith gave to John Tanner and his posterity. And it's really a beautiful story. If you ever get a chance to check it out, again, the, the church has a video on it. It's called the John Tanner Story, and I think you, you said the other name of it. Um, what was that? The the uh, uh, treasures in heaven. Yeah, treasures in heaven. Yeah. Anyway, it's an awesome story. All right. Anyway, so we need to keep moving on here. So we've got to, lots to cover because there's there's more great things. Because as great as it is to have the Kirtland Temple, the stuff in Nauvoo is, I think, equally as awesome 